So I got a comment on the video, William Branham's KKK pastor. And the person that commented said that um, I didn't show enough evidence that the R.E. Davis in the article was actually William Branham's pastor, Roy E. Davis. And I can understand that. I mean, it, the, the article definitely did not say Roy E. Davis. It did say R.E. Davis. I, I can assure you that was the Roy E. Davis uh, that William Branham spoke so highly of in many of his sermons and uh, in his articles. But uh, I do have some extra proof here. I've got a couple of uh, articles that I'm going to show you that has uh, Roy E. Davis mentioned in it as a former Klan member. And I've also got an article that has him in his um, in his white robe and hood. And uh, and I'll show you that as well. Um, but, um, I plan on doing an entire video on Roy E. Davis because that man was a snake. He, uh, was living such an immoral lifestyle on top of being involved with the Klan. Now, before we look at the article, I want to go over here just to remind you, uh, and just in case you, you know, you, you, you forgot, this is William Branham's first pastor. Now this is in. Branham's Magazine. You can see it right here. Voice of he the Voice of Healing Magazine. This is from uh, October 1950. All right. And this is Reverend Roy E. Davis. I'm not going to read the entire article, but I do want you just just as a reminder, just to show you uh, that uh, Roy E. Davis uh, was <laughs> promoted by Branham. Branham put him in his magazine, uh, The Voice of Healing. So let's uh, let's look at what he said here. Uh, dear Brother Lindsay, that would be Gordon Lindsay. For some few months, I have been impressed to write an article on Billy Branham. After meditation and prayer, I have decided to do so. I hope I can compose this article in such a manner that uh, I will see it in print. First, I am the minister who received Brother Branham into the first Pentecostal assembly he ever frequented. I baptized him and was his pastor for some two years. I also preached his ordination sermon and um, signed his ordination certificate and heard, uh, heard him preach his first sermon. I was the first man on this earth whom Billy ever saw anoint and pray for a sick person. So there's enough proof right there that this is Roy E. Davis. This is William Branham's first pastor. Let's go over and look at this article here. This is from February the uh, 29th. Look at the date here, 1924. All right. So Roy E. Davis was involved in the Klan <laughs> well before 1950, folks. Um, so let's go over here. This is the article, Klan is Tottering. I'm not going to read the entire article, but just enough to show you that this is Reverend Roy E. Davis. The article doesn't have R. E. Davis here. It has Roy E. Davis. So let me um let me just read part of this article. Clan is tottering. Uh predicts death of or uh pre <laughs> wow. Predicts death of of order in one year. Roy E. Davis. Okay. Roy E. Davis. All right. This is the man here. Roy E. Davis addressed a large crowd last night, stating that the Ku Klux Klan, by reason of the rottenness of its imperial wizard, Hiram W. Evans, was rapidly going to pieces, and that in 12 months the order will have perished entirely. Reverend Roy E. Davis of Fitzgerald, Georgia, pastor of the Baptist Church at that place, and a banished member of the Ku Klux Klan, and again, this is in 1924, addressed an audience of 300 men, look at this, at the Knights of Pythias Hall last night, most of whom were members of the Klan, which Davis uh, arraigned bitterly. The speaker, who is an organizer of the Knights of the Flaming Sword, that is another white supremacy group, that Davis was involved with. And what he's doing in this article here, he is trying to recruit members of the Klan into um, his new, uh, or, or this, this, um, this uh, white supremacy group that he is a part of, the Knights of the Flaming Sword. 
So that's the that's the whole purpose of this article. And you can see this is Davis, um, and he's um, he's slamming the uh, Imperial Grand Wizard Hiram W. Evans, and he's trying to invite uh, these clan members into uh, this other group he's involved with, Knights of the Flaming Sword. So that's that article. Let me take you over to this one right here. This is uh, from uh, the the Times. Uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, uh, February 10th, 1961. Demonstrating the Klan salute in his white robe is R.E. Davis. Now, say what you want. This is Roy Davis. Okay, this is not just an R.E. Davis. This is Roy E. Davis. R.E. Davis, National Imperial Wizard of the original Knights of the Ku Klux Klan, an organization labeled... Uh, subservient by the U.S. Attorney General Davis of Dallas, Texas, has been recruiting Klansmen in the Shreveport area for the past several days and said yesterday that some 1,000 men have joined the Klan in northwest Louisiana. The robe displayed here, and we're, I'm getting ready to show you him in his robe. The robe displayed here is that of a Buck Private Klansman and not Davis purple imperial wizard robe. So he's not in his imperial real wizard robe, but he is in a uh, 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 what they would call a buck private robe. State law forbids the wearing of the hoods in public. And so this is him right here. This is Roy E. Davis, folks. This is William Branham's pastor. This is the pastor that William Branham spoke so highly of. Look at the date here. Okay, I'm going to show you again. This is um, February 10th, 1961. So Branham died in 65. Branham died in a car accident in 1965. So this is four years before Branham's death, and Branham is still in his some of his sermons talking about this man right here, Roy E. Davis. And this is, yeah, this is, uh, this is Branham's pastor. This is the man right here. 